Good morning. I'm Greg Otto, and I lead the cloud services team at Comcast with responsibilities for our pivotal Cloud Foundry environment. It's really great to be here and to be able to share with you all the awesome things that we're doing at Comcast. It's a great team to be part of because we had the vision to change, and we fully embraced the DevOps model many years ago before it became as fashionable as it is today. And our X1 team has been delivering about 17 million X1 boxes in customers' homes, which is really exciting. And they're delivering a new release about once a month. So it's an exciting place to be for us. An especially proud moment for me was late last year when we went live in production with business critical services on our pivotal Cloud Foundry environment. And we're processing tens of millions of transactions every single day on this new platform. We definitely went all in because we put Cloud Foundry directly in the customer critical path. I want to walk you through our journey. I admit I'm a diehard skier. I couldn't resist the background. I know it's a little warm outside, but hopefully ski season will be here before you know it. As we started our journey, we knew that we wanted to change. We knew that we wanted to make the lives of our developers easier, and we wanted to be able to deliver products to market faster. But we also knew that we needed help. We needed help to be able to transform our people and our processes, and especially our legacy applications. So in 2014, we got together with the folks from Pivotal, and we hit it off right away because we saw that it was clear that they had the people and the passion to help us transform. And our partnership goes well beyond just the software. A story I like to tell is that I went to a couple of my engineers, and they're here with me this week, and I told them, pack your bags. We're going to Denver. We're going to do a two-day workshop. We're going to pick a couple of the developers from our product teams, and we're going to build the PaaS platform on day one, and then we're going to push applications to it on day two. That sounds pretty exciting, right? Well, for these guys, not so much, because I hadn't told them anything about Cloud Foundry yet. So needless to say, they were not that pleased with me because they had to figure it out. But I was confident that we were going to be able to do it. And we did it. We had a successful workshop, and that was great. But the real magic actually happened after we left because a couple of the developers continued to work with the folks on my cloud team. And they delivered a working prototype in about 30 days. So it was really impressive. We were really flying high. There was a ton of buzz in the developer community. And they were all talking about how easy it was to work with this platform. I mean, imagine that, a platform that allows the developers to focus and spend their time working in code and not on assembling infrastructure. Here's what some of our developers are saying. These are real quotes. And we heard that happy developers are generally more productive, but we've actually been able to capture that. We've seen about a 75% lift in velocity as well as in time to market, and the business is really feeling it. Here are some of our key stats. I couldn't be happier with the adoption that we're seeing on the platform, but again, this is with zero outbound marketing from my team. This is all word of mouth that's happening from all of those happy developers telling a friend about how easy it is to work with this platform. And now we have over 900 people that are innovating every day on this new platform. And that's what's really rewarding for us, and that gets us out of bed every day. I want to walk through briefly our approach. There's definitely a lot of layers of complexity to our approach and to change. First, we needed to place a bet on a product. And clearly, Cloud Foundry is winning in this space. But we spent most of our time focusing on our people, the people on my cloud team, the people on our development teams especially, the people that we partnered with, like our friends from Pivotal. And then, of course, we had the Cloud Foundry community. And once we were able to get everyone on the same page and confident that we were going through this transformation together, it was a lot easier to channel our passion and deliver the outcomes that we had expected. 
So let's take, get to some of the results. As we onboarded applications onto this new platform, there were two key areas that highlighted the improvement opportunities. And the first was the time that it takes from a new idea or a new business requirement to be delivered as a feature in an application or in a product, that process took several weeks at least. And now, that process takes about two to three days. Huge improvement. Another area was around product scaling. Some of our applications take literally months in order to scale to meet the business demands. And now, that happens in minutes. And it happens automatically because we enabled the auto-scaling features on our platform. This is a better together story for us, for sure. We have four talks that are scheduled. Three of the talks are being delivered by our development teams. They've joined us on this trip. The first talk is going to be Sergey and Neville from my team, and they're going to talk about how wonderful it is to work as part of my team. And then they're also going to talk about what it is to run this platform in production at the scale that we have. And then Chris, he is from our development team, and he's going to talk about what it was like for the developers to go through this journey. The, developer, the development teams did a ton of heavy lifting, and he has a lot of real-world experiences to share, so you definitely want to check that out. And then James is going to deliver a similar talk. James is responsible for our activation platform, another business-critical system. And they are going through that now. They're right in the throes of it. So again, you want to definitely check James out, talk to him, and see how they've taken some of the lessons learned that Chris's team has gone through and how they're making it even better to transform. And then finally, Nick is going to talk on Wednesday, and he's going to talk about his own personal transformation. And then he's also going to talk about the transformation that our development culture is going through at Comcast as we've adopted these new methodologies. So just to wrap things up, we talked about the workshop, delivered it in two days. Thanks, guys. Knew you could do it. We also spoke about the 75% increase in velocity and time to market. And again, the business is really appreciating it. Bless you. <clears throat> we also talked about the idea to feature. Going from weeks to just a couple of days, huge improvement. And then our application scaling, this is my favorite. Being able to scale our applications going from months down to just a couple of minutes. Really exciting. And we definitely want to hear from you, so please come out, come to our talks. We want to get your feedback, and we also want to share our experiences with you. And uh, we do believe that this is a better together story for all of us. Thank you very much, and enjoy the rest of the conference. Mm -hmm.